What's up, dudes and dudes to the air now? My name's Seth, and we are back again for another troll. Do -do -do -do. And today we're doing another special challenge. This is by SpongeGuy60 asking whether or not I can solo normal Spike Walker. Which, yes, on the Shadow Hunter, we most definitely could. I would just blast through it easily and I can one-shot him, and it's hilarious because he spawns and he's like, I'm gonna destroy you, and then he dies in two seconds. But I thought it would be interesting if we played on the Tomb Razor and saw whether or not I could do it then. But before we start that, hi, how y'all doing? Hope you're doing fantastically wonderful today, everybody. And I hope this video makes that day even better. Yes, I definitely do. Now, we got quite a few shout outs for some of these prizes that I have to get rid of because they're clogging up my inventory. So, uh, we've got, uh, what? Oh, Ender Ego, Valor Warrior. Uh, then we also have Ta Takelai Set. Oh, <laughs> I don't know how to say it, sorry. Um, Mr. Slime Plays. And then we also have, where is he? Mr. Werewolf. And with all of them, as well as a couple of spiders that I've gotten on my own, we're gonna be giving away 10 of the McDonald's spider, just because we gotta get rid of them, like, <clears throat> excuse me, pardon me. I need to get rid of them, I need them out of my house, like seriously, they've been taking up my inventory space for so long, I still have more, and I'm still sure I'm gonna get more from all of you. Man, alive, this is actually no problem. I should make those like little monk allies or something. I, yeah, I guess I do gotta change some of the attack VFX on these Overwatch characters or whatever, but. Yeah, looks like Spikey's gonna be no problem for the Tomb Razor. Either way, for any of those prizes, you're gonna have to duke in the like button, be subscribed to this channel, and leave a comment in the comment section down below with your username. And if you win, Scarlet the Spider will reply to you, letting you know that you've won, and then you gotta catch me in game, and uh, hopefully you'll end up getting your special prize. Oh my goodness, the movement speed on this guy is so terrible, I love it. Yes, destroy the waffle! Here's a pro tip, you saw that big toilet that we ended up just destroying two seconds ago? For some weird reason, lots of people don't know this. Well, I guess, why would you know? Uh, but this guy right here, especially the candy version, because candy enemies are stronger than normal enemies. They're some of the strongest enemies in the game, if not the strongest, that you can actually generate out of Shadow Tower. So if you end up getting candy, that's why you're having a harder time than compared with the ice enemies or something like that, right? So what I the reason that I'm pointing out the toilet is because he's actually one of the heaviest damage dealers in the entire game game like seriously so if you're having trouble with shadow towers the minor strategy i'm just gonna say i opened my map out of habit just a small minor strategy uh that is a good thing to have just even early on when you're starting out shadow towers is rush them rush the toilet have somebody luring all the enemies around the room like crazy that's fine do whatever you want but get rid of the stupid toilet as fast as humanly possible Especially when you get to Ultra and stuff, because he's no joke. He'll pretty much one-shot you every single time, and he'll drain a flask every single time. If you're a professional like me, and you end up using a Death Defying. So it looks like we're going to be able to get through this challenge relatively easy, which is surprising because we're not really rocking... Oh, well, I guess we do have this stellar hat that I found, by the way. I found this like a long time ago. It, it, I, I found it uh, before Stellar Drops were tradable, unfortunately, so rip me. Also, I don't have any more pearls of wisdom, so I can't pearl it up. So I'm just slowly getting pearls as I'm grinding U9. So here it is, everybody. The ultimate test. Zenyatta versus Shadow Hunter. Who will win? Let's find out. Yeah, I want a screenshot of you because you're beautiful. Die! You know what? I'm not even going to use my health bar. Yes, that's right. You don't. I don't even need to see it. I don't even need to see it. I'm overly confident. They, I think they broke Spike Walker like legit. I think... Okay, he's already dead. I think they broke Spike Walker in the sense that... Um, it, it, when he does his little like his fart attack it doesn't really cause that much damage if any damage at all but yeah so i kind of already said um b a while ago but yeah uh i i kind of really want to level up the tomb razor just because he's in yada now it's beautiful but anyways one thing i did want to mention this is really really weird shadow shards i don't think they're a thing anymore 
For some weird reason, I guess the devs' compulsion to never get rid of old stuff, uh, they're still in the game. Like, you still can use them, and you see that I have eight, but now whenever you complete a shadow dungeon, it just automatically gives you the chest, doesn't it? So, that's a little bit weird if that is the case. I need to, there. I'll have to edit out my chest, otherwise I'm never gonna hear the end of it. Unless I get shadow shards from this? Oh, we do. Well, GG me. I totally thought that we didn't. I thought that they just removed shadow shards in general and made it so that you automatically get the chest, but that's also just because I've been doing Ultra Tower, and in Ultra Tower, it just automatically gives you the chest. I think personally, they should just give you the chest and get rid of the shards in general, but I guess then there goes shard day, which is still kind of useless anyway. But either way, that's gonna be it. Thanks everybody, thanks for the challenge. Don't forget to duke in the like button, share favorite, and subscribe to join Team Pixel Sign. I want to stay epic, everybody. Only